Shardimus Prime here, doing another action figure review on the Articulated Icons, the Feudal Series Clan of Crimson Fury Ninja. Trying to get your Articulated Icons? You can do so! Big, big, big! Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com! Click the link in the description below! And while you're down there, I ask you to please hit that like button and show some love by hitting that subscribe button as well as the notification bell if you are new here. And this is something I have been very interested in, in quite some time. And I gotta say, I'm just really stoked to review one of these and get one of these in hand. Looks pretty sweet already. Ah, in hand. Get it? Because it looks like a hand ninja. I mean, on the top of the packaging, it says Articulated Icons, the Feudal series. On the back, you can see a product shot and you can see some of the other ninjas from Articulated Icons. There's a read-up over there. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. And then on this side, there's also another read-up. If you want to read that, you can go ahead and pause it right now. And then there's your Clan of Crimson Fury Ninja right over there. And then not much more at the bottom. It's from the Foosh. So there you go. Foosh right over there. And there's a hand with a lollipop in the middle of it. But anyway, let's get to it and crack this thing open. <laughs> And here's the Crimson Ninja out of the packaging. And there are some things that I do like here that I will discuss. There are some also things that I do not like. But first, let's get a closer look at the accessories. So aside from the two head sculpts and the two interchangeable hood pieces, these are all the other accessories that we get with this figure. You get a pair of fisted hands, you get weapon holding hands, you get these flat hands right here. You have two different harness options right here. And then you get the two katanas, and then you get the sheaths for the katanas, and you get this unique Ziploc bag so you can keep your stuff all in one place so let's first take a look at these swords or these katanas they look fantastic i love this bright silver paint right here it looks really good the sculpt for the wrap and everything on this nice little touch of gold right over here i'm liking that attention to detail firm plastic and everything i like how that the silver doesn't get worn uh, when placed in the sheath so you can see right here, I've used this several times and I don't have any paint getting worn out on me. So I'm really happy with that. Go ahead and store that right there. And then you get the smaller katana right here. Also looking very good. Pointy, but not, you know, too pointy. And again, you get that little bit of gold right over there. And it goes right into the sheath very nicely. If you want to take the sheaths out, you can do that. So you can see how that comes out right over there. And you get a port right here that you could stick either into the back of the figure or on the belt. So there's a port right here on the belt right above the butt cheeks. So it gets a sword per butt cheek. Or you can just port them right onto the back right over here. So there you go. And then you can see that uh, you get a pin hinge system right over here for the interchangeable hands. So you get the fist right there. And then you can see you get some nice veiny details and everything. Ooh, that's from drumming, but... But yeah, you can see that you, know, you get some veins and all that stuff. And then, yeah, there's a flat hand right over there for your judo chop. And then you get these two different harnesses. Out of the two of them, I like this one the most. You can see that you get some nice silver on it. Then here's this other one, which is made with this really strong material. And it's very flexible. Usually when I put jackets on figures and stuff, I throw the arms back. But for this, I'm going to have the arms facing upward. And I want the two straps right here to be on the back of the figure. So this is just going to go over the arms and this is going to go through a loop right here. Demonstrate again. This is going to be a little bit more tricky though. It's going to go up and then through this hoop right here sideways so that you have that inside there. There you go. And then just going to scooch this down and make sure that this all goes over this pin right over here. So it's kind of tricky to do. And the material is surprisingly very strong for how flexible and everything this is. Make sure you push that pin down and then flip this over right here and then flip this over right there. And then now you have the strap over the figure as it's supposed to be. If it feels a little bit loose, you can apply some heat with a hairdryer and this will straighten out and kind of go back to its form. But yeah, there you go. I think that looks pretty good. Let's get this bandolier on here. And that just loops around like that. Super easy to do, and it has a hole in the back of it, so it just fits a whole lot better uh, with the sheaths right over here. So this peg will go through both the strap and into the back of the figure. I mean, come on, that, that looks just a bit cooler to me. I like that. Ah, I forgot to talk about this shuriken right over here, right? Or dagger, anyway. I thought this was called a shuriken. I could be wrong. But yeah, this looks very good. I do like the silver paint apps once again. Nice to have an alternate weapon with the figure. I like this. <laughs> 
So looking at the first head sculpt out of the two, I mean, you could clearly see that the Fush were going for hand ninjas right over here. And at the time, you know, I'm sure at the time of the development, they didn't know that Hasbro was going to make their own hand ninja. I'll get into comparisons later on, but I just got to say I really like the head sculpt right here. I like how this is all wrapped around. You can see the fabric stretching and they have this nice black wash going in right there. You can see a knot tied to the back of the figure. So that looks very realistic. I do like that. You get a little bit of like a Deadpool dip right there on the back. And yeah, I mean, they added that green paint in the eyes, you know, really so it could look like a hand ninja. I like the furrowed eyebrows right over there. He means business. So that is very cool. However, I do like the other head sculpt a bit more so. So you could just pop on this other head sculpt and you can, you know, just have him posed like that if you'd like. Or you can give him a hood on and... This, I don't really like so much. I like, it's creating too much of a shadow over the eyes. Kind of looks neat how it's almost like glowing in the dark, right? I mean, but really, the only part that's getting light is the nose. So, I don't really like this part of it too much. I do appreciate the paint apps on it, and it kind of reminds me a little bit more of, you know, like a Cobra Commander, you know, sheet head kind of thing. But you could go ahead and take this off, and then give uh, the hood down option to him by adding this piece right here, which again, looks really good. I love that we get black wash throughout on the figure. That just looks fantastic. I love that. And then you could go ahead and pour it on the head right over here. And again, this looks great. You get the furrowed eyebrows once more. Nice green paint again. And then, you know, looking at the side of the head right there. I like the seam coming along that side as well. So that looks really nice. I'm happy with that. And the whole design of the figure actually looks really good to me. Uh, you know, I think it looks pretty nice. The gi looks really good. Nice details right over here. Again, you get the black wash throughout. Nice wrinkles on the arms and everything. I like how the pins aren't really, you know, super big or anything like that. I'm not the biggest fan of the ball joint pins right here. And you can see how you can just pop that off and everything. It's not too bad, you know. Sometimes some of the hands are a little bit on the looser side than others. I, not as far as the joint goes, but as far as pouring it on. Like some of the hands do pop off a little bit easy for me. But yeah, I get some nice wrinkles throughout. I do like the sculpt of it, you know. Looks pretty good, man. You know, the crotch and all that stuff looks really good with all the wrinkles and the black wash and everything and then right here on the pants looks great and you get those ninja toes right over there these little straps and everything around I guess these are supposed to be kind of like boots I guess I don't know but here's looking at the back of it looking pretty sweet again I like how the pins aren't all super huge then there's the crimson ninja butt and then you get that port one more time on the back now this line's called Articulated Icons, or I guess the whole company's Articulated Icons, and we get some really good articulation over here. You can move the heads up all the way, so that makes me happy. You can move them down all the way, you get side-to-side -side motion, a little bit of head wobbling, not any real pivoting. It does shift forward and back like a pile driver, no butterfly joints, and I believe they do have some that have interchangeable arms, right? Like fleshy colored arms. Anyway, you can move the shoulders up and outward just that far, you can move them in all the way, rotate a full 360, you get a bicep cut right Right there double jointed elbows that bend in that much and then you could swivel the wrists and hinge them down or up or horizontally depending on how you have that configured you get a diaphragm joint that turns side to side uh, no real diaphragm pivot over here i feel like that's a missed opportunity for some pivot will crunch forward a bit like that and it will crunch backwards that much and you do get a waist swivel here you get hips that move outwards all the way so he can do the splits and then you can kick forward and actually move all the way around wow that's awesome so and hey no real paint rubber scuffing sweet so yeah a lot of flexibility with the legs right over here you do get a upper thigh cut and then the double jointed knees bend in that far you do get calf rotation right here and then the ankles move down they do move up all the way and you get beautiful ankle pivot. Now to measure out this Crimson Ninja, not to be mistaken for a Red Ninja or a Hand Ninja, you can see that it is standing right at six inches tall. Man, for a size comparison, you can see the Crimson Ninja compared to two Hasbro Hand Ninjas. We have the original two-pack version from about 10 years ago, and then we have the recently released Stiltman Build-A-Figure Wave Hand Ninja, and I do prefer this height over here. Both of these are a bit on the short side. Uh, yeah, so if this was a little bit larger, I would like it a little bit more so. And then here's the Crimson a ninja next to the G.I. Joe classified Cobra Ninja right here and the big debate people have been having and it's been fun to see is which is the best red ninja we have the Hasbro Marvel Legends version we have the Hasbro
Hasbro G.I. Joe version, and then we have the Articulated Icons version. My favorite one out of these three is the G.I. Joe version right over here. Oh, and I wanted to show some head swaps between these figures, or trying on different head sculpts on the Articulated Icons figure. Uh, none of them actually snap on, but you can rest them on that ball peg. So if you applied some sticky tack, you could make that work. However, none of them actually like really do fit. And then here's the Crimson Ninja next to the Marvel Legends Daredevil from the Defenders 4-pack set. I believe that's where this one came from. And yeah, again, I wish the Crimson Ninja was just maybe a little bit taller. And then here's the Crimson Ninja next to your average section scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Badass Spider-Man. Hmm, kind of short for a hand, Ninja. Eh, no wonder Daredevil kicks your guys' butt so easily. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, please don't give me a Count Dooku haircut. Please, 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 please. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please show some love to the channel by hitting that like button. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as a notification bell. And a big thank you to all these people over here going the extra mile to support this channel via the Tron and channel membership. If you're interested in the daily perks, check it out. Link in the description below or on that join button. And this figure is a lot of fun. I really like it a lot. I love the posing options that we get over here. However, I do have my gripes about it like the whole open face thing for that hood that just did not work out very well for me i did get a loose left wrist and that's a little bit frustrating to work with so that did happen with me i really do like the articulation even though there are points where i think it could have been done a little bit better like the diaphragm joint you know giving that a pivot would have been really nice but overall i think this is a very good figure i wish it was a little bit larger so yeah i definitely have my gripes about it but i think the execution of this is overall very good and it is a little bit pricier than what you would expect from a six inch Marvel legend being released at retail by a major corporation. Uh, just imagine how expensive it would be for you to sell your own t-shirts compared to buying a $7 shirt from Walmart. You know what I mean? So the price point is about $40 per figure. And I don't think that's bad at all. And at that price point, I'm going to give this Crimson Ninja a sud rating of it's not so bad. And I'd like to know what you guys think. So please let me know in the comment section below if you want to stay in touch with me via social media you can check me out on instagram twitter and twitch and i will catch you guys later peace Hey, new Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.